My name is Crystal Kieschnick and my husband Rick is a patient at TLC Lubbock and um, he suffered a traumatic brain injury in June of 2009. Um, we were um, in acute care, of course in Wichita Falls at United Regional. Um, when he was ready for rehab, we were taken to Baylor Institute of Rehab in Dallas and he spent about eight weeks there. Um, after acute rehab then for brain injuries they want you to go to transitional rehab. Um, we came to TLC Lubbock in January of 2010. Um, we've really, we really like it here. We've been to, um, we were at another transitional facility before this one and um, am much more pleased with the care that Rick has received while he's been here at TLC. Um, we were really happy to come to Lubbock and know that whatever medical need Rick had could be met right here in Lubbock. Um, the ancillary services you have to TLC, the surrounding hospitals and medical facilities and doctors, you have everything you need in Lubbock. Um, I like just the down-home feel of Lubbock. It doesn't feel like a big city. It feels like a smaller town. It's easier to get around in. It's very accessible and I don't feel overwhelmed uh, here. Um, and I feel like any, any need that Rick has, it will be met here. The therapists have gone so far as to tailor rehab around what Rick likes. Um, Rick being a cowboy, he likes to ride, he likes to rope, and we've done some hippotherapy. We got to um, build a roping dummy and Rick ropes. Um, things that he likes to do. They're, real, they're very sensitive to what's going to motivate this patient. What, how are we going to get the best out of this patient? And I, I really like the way they've tailored a lot of the rehab to Rick. He's not just another brain injury coming through here. He's Rick. There's a, there's a great ratio of therapists to patients. There's a great ratio of therapeutic assistants or your techs to patients. Um, I, I really like the idea of the scale of rating the patients um, a one, two, or three as far as how much assistance they require. Um, Rick came in at a three, which meant that a TA had to be within an arm's reach of him at all times. And they give you a number for the day and they give you a number for the night. And so if you're a three during the day, maybe you're a two at night and that just means you have to be checked on every 15 minutes or uh, whatever the, the rules are and I really it made me feel much more at ease to know that if I can't be here that if he's a three then someone is going to be within an arm's reach of him at all times. Um, I feel like the therapist, the physical therapist, the speech therapist, occupational therapy, they all have time for Rick. They're not preoccupied with anything else. They're, they don't have a gym so full that they can't focus on Rick. Um, and so I, it makes a huge difference in his ability to focus and his ability to get the treatment he needs. Um, Dr. Walcott has been great for us. He has a genuine care for his patients. When he comes to make rounds on Tuesdays, he doesn't just come in a meeting, listen to what's been going on and leave. He comes to the meeting, he listens to what's going on, and then he comes to find his patients. He wants to see for himself what you're doing and he's, he's genuinely concerned and he wants what's best for, you, for your patient. He wants what's best for his patients. Um, he, I really like it that he walks down to therapy and finds Rick and says, hey man, what's going on today? I hear good things about you or, you know, I, I like that. He, he's very personable, um, very down to earth, um, and, and I really like him. You get to know everybody here, all the patients, and you get to be involved in their story too. Um, seen, I've seen a lot of people make great progress and get to go home. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the fact that TLC welcomes me. They welcome me here every morning when I'm here. Nobody acts like, gosh, she's in the way or she's here again. It's no, there's Crystal and she's going to be a part of Rick's recovery. And um, they're happy that I'm here. I'm encouraged to be here. Um, I don't feel unwelcomed. I feel like that they want me here, and I really like that. 
Every Friday afternoon, there's an outing planned. Um, they they go to all different places in Lubbock. It's great to help you get your loved one integrated back into the community. And if you can go with them, it helps you maybe not feel so alone or so out there if you can't figure out how to get um, your, your loved one up a wheelchair ramp or maybe there's not a wheelchair ramp. You need to figure out how to get your loved one into somewhere. If you have, um, if you go on the outing with your therapist, they show you all the tricks and they show you how you need to be thinking and what you need to do. And so when you do go by yourself, it's easier. It makes the transition a lot easier. And um, the outings are fun. They are um, very therapeutic. They always plan a very therapeutic outing to a museum um, or somewhere that even the, not Rick's, Rick needs the cognitive and the physical. Um, so we went to the, the art festival last week. And uh, so Lub the Lubbock Art Festival was last Friday at the Civic Center. And Rick was with his PTs. And so Rick didn't just get to get wheeled around his wheelchair looking at art. He had to climb two flights of stairs. He had to go down two flights of stairs and come back up two flights of stairs. And so they make, they make sure that you, you're getting therapy even on an outing. We recently started pool therapy with Rick and you can see a huge improvement. The water really frees him up. He, he's got a lot of tone and tightness and when you get him in the water, it goes away and he, he moves good. It's a, a way to exercise him that you just can't do when you're not in the water. He enjoys it. Um, he likes going and um, I think it's going to be very beneficial to him to, uh, to have more, more pool therapy. Every month you have an individual program plan or your IPP meeting where your therapists and your social worker all meet with you and, your, and the patient to let you know where you're at um, progress wise and how, how you're doing. Um, I really think it's a time to come together for Rick and look at, you know, we're all on the same page with Rick. We, we see where he's come from and we all have the same vision for where he's going to. Um, it's a time to talk to your therapist if you have um, any questions, if you have any, you know, anxiety or any worry about something you're seeing. Um, and they will address it. If they can't address it right then in the IPP meeting, they will go find out for you. Um, the therapists are, are great about educating you. Um, if, you're, if the brain injury has manifested itself in speech or gait or whatever it may be, they're really good about finding you the information you might want to read about and getting you educated. They don't assume that you've already been educated um, or that you don't want to be educated, they go out and they find the material and they make sure you know what's going on. And that's the IPP meetings is when you can just address everything and you feel like, you don't feel like it's you against them. It's everybody, it's the team. You're, you're on a team for Rick. It's like you're walking along one day, you're minding your own business, doing what you're supposed to do, and you step off into the Grand Canyon and the lights go out. So you're at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with no light. What do you do? What do you do? There's no one there. No one can help you. What do you do? That's what this was like for me. That's what it was like for me. And if I didn't have God, and if I didn't have my faith in God, I don't think I would have made it. I wouldn't have made it. Because you got to walk across the Grand Canyon, and then you got to start climbing up out of it. You know? And there's, there's setbacks. There's going to be setbacks and you, you climb so far and you get the boot heel in the face and you fall back down and you think, God, why? You know, we're, we're doing so good. Um, and you keep climbing back up and climbing back up and finally you get so far, somebody can throw your rope down and help pull you up. And that's kind of what TLC is like for me. It's kind of like we finally got there where someone could, could really help me. Someone could really see the potential that Rick has see what a hard worker he is, see what kind of faith he has, what kind of family support he has, and throw me a rope and help me up. That's what it's like. That's what it's like.